Phil is a former Houston police detective and an expert in um, suspect interviews. He's worked hundreds of cases, achieving a 96 percent clearance rate. By my account, that makes you a great guest. Um, so blood in the car, um, a source tells us, Phil, blood in the car, blood outside the car. As a homicide detective, what... What would that, um, and, and again, our source also saying they believe that the, the women were shot outside the car. As a homicide detective, what do you make of that? Well, you just can't script this stuff, can you? Uh, thanks for having me back, Ashley. I, I will tell you the indications that we know now, you're talking about blood inside in the dirt, blood possibly inside the car. There's no at this point, unless they've got some firearms evidence that's there that would indicate there was a shooting that did take place. And we we talked the last time about the possibility of two people being involved in this or one person with a gun. So uh, I think there, this, this information that's coming out, it makes sense to me that if we go with the one person with a gun, they can control two people very easily and something went wrong. If that means that one of the women tried to take the weapon away or tried to flee or tried to start the car and take off, and what whatever happened that caused this suspect to discharge that weapon and hit at least one of the women. Now, my question would be, if we have blood inside the car, blood outside the car, I would imagine that the DNA testing that's going on now is to determine is the is the blood coming from the same source. So that's going to be a that's going to be a key question that gets answered in the processing. And I I keep thinking ever since this news broke and we learned this from our source, um, I just keep thinking about the kids because. You know, the kids technically could have been there. Now, they didn't make the transfer to our knowledge. So perhaps this was before they even got near the kids and the kids never saw anything. But dear God, I hope the kids weren't weren't in that car. Tell me a little bit about the fact that there's no visible searching going on at all, not for missing women and not for bodies. We can't find hide nor hair of any crews anywhere doing any looking. Well, this is my, my pure speculation here, but... That indicates to me that they know that that type of a search is not necessary. So that means that they have interviewed, they're interviewing everybody that they can tie to this event. The, the current estranged wife and, uh, and, and then the mother, I'm sure they've interviewed the mother now. You gotta understand these people are submitting to these interviews. Hopefully, they are doing that. If they say, look, I'm done talking to you, that's the end of it. So I, I appreciate the fact that I think the detectives are really being very methodical, and they are, they're walking very patiently toward bringing this to a resolution. And I, and I just, you know, the kids, uh, I think your reporter just said that uh, the that OSBI has said that the kids are safe. So... That makes me wonder, in cases like this, typically the first move is is that CPS moves in and gets the kids out of the potential dangerous situation. But so and what, we haven't what been we told have that. Now, we, we haven't been told that, Phil. Right. Right. So I would have to say that there they must be in a place where authorities are comfortable that they are safe. We just don't know Can where I ask that you, place is. Um, the, the, the FBI, it is now confirmed the FBI is there in a major assistance role. But I wondered what kind of assistance. I get it. There's a lab at Quantico. I get it. They have data analysts. I get it. They have extra field staff they can help to do, you know, conduct interviews. But <clears throat> can the FBI also help to conduct surveillance? And I'm just imagining if grandma is such a, a, a character that is, you know, dictated in these court documents, can they run some pretty sophisticated surveillance on her? Well, that's true. Those the FBI, in my experience with them, and we brought them into kidnappings and, and, and those types of investigations, the resources that they have go beyond the resources that most other departments do have. And especially in this area where you're talking about very, very small sheriff's offices and so forth. Yeah. So, yeah, they're going to be able to provide manpower. They're going to be able to provide analysis. They're going to be able to provide whatever they when they, they process that car, process that scene, anything that they remove from that scene will be processed in the FBI lab 
or possibly the state lab, but I, I'm betting that it's going to go to the FBI. And uh, of course, they can uh, their surveillance equipment, surveillance personnel, uh, digital uh, uh, tracking. Uh, Any time we don't know that they've ta they've not gone in and taken computers, and so they're doing forensic analysis sure. on the on sure. the computers. So That's there's a, a lot analyst. of things that the, that the FBI brings yeah. to the table. It's just a matter of resource. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.